Model HOC, the control voltage polymorpher. We have four channels of input control voltage, trigger and output control voltage. We also have attenuators for the input side, for the output side. There is no LEDs that will indicate how much of the computed control voltage is really present on the output. The encoders control the menu. And all these applications are available. So for example, we have LFOs, we have envelopes, we have low ones attractors, we have sequencers, there's a quadrature LFO among them. And all these applications have a fairly deep menu structure. However, the basic operation, input and output limiting, can be done right on the front panel. Practical example, for example, animating a filter. So right now the LFO has the full impact on the filter. And with the output attenuator, we are limiting it to what we really need. Another example is the envelope generator. Right now we're getting in a trigger and we're producing an ASR envelope. Adjusting it with the knobs will get fast results. And adjusting it with the encoders, fine tuning. So, as you can see, the module is really deep, there is a lot of configuration to be done, but the main functions are all very, very quickly accessible from the front panel. And that goes for the quantizer, that goes for the envelope generator, basically for all the applications. And one more example, this time we have the dual quantizer running, and we are feeding it with an LFO, but we will attenuate the pitch output and animate the filter. So the LFO we're feeding it with has the full 10 volt, but the input attenuator is just limiting that. So we're only getting around one and a half octave out. Yeah, so that's the CV polymorpher, and I'm pretty sure you can find tons more of applications to use it for.